indoors and outdoor uses with this kind of equipment, isn't it? And so it actually outperforms the diesel 906 from a capacity standpoint. So you can actually get a smaller machine which can actually do more. There's no compromise in the feel and style of the machine. It's very nippy, very quick. Yeah, but you can remove some serious dirt in a very short space of time. Hi, I'm Peter Haddock here at the Malaga training demonstration area with Jazz. Jazz, we've talked about wheel loaders before, mm. but what we haven't done, folks, is we haven't talked about the blue one. That's right. The 906 you're sat in right now. This is the electric version. Absolutely. And tell us all about it because it is a real, real pinch point, isn't it? For people in this space, indoors and outdoor uses for this kind of equipment, isn't it? Absolutely, yeah. So if you're working indoors, you want to keep your emissions low, this is a solution for them. Yep. Uh, um, obviously, it's based on the 906 Next Generation platform, but we did a little tweaking on it. We mm -hmm. actually threw the 908 bucket on the front end. So it actually outperforms the diesel 906 from a capacity standpoint because it's got a heavier tail end because we've got the counterweight, the, the basically the larger the battery in there as well. So, so yeah, that's really interesting then. So you can actually get a smaller machine which can actually do more. That's and, it. And of course, you know, we're seeing a lot of these electric machines basically taking out other machines because they can go indoor and outdoor. And Correct. so mm. what is the key features of this from the, first of all, inside the cab where you're sitting and it's got nice air conditioning, by the way, folks. And that's a big one, isn't it? <laughs> that's it, exactly. Typically, you don't find air conditioning in, on a, electric machines of this size, but we're going to market with air conditioning because we wanted to make sure that the operator, when they jump from a diesel to an electric, there's no compromise in the feel and style of the machine. It's the same cab, it's air conditioning. They're gonna feel just as comfortable in this as they would in the diesel. And we filmed Simon using it, the operator here today. And the, the obvious one is the quietness mm. of the machine, but it's he was zooming around so fast yeah. that literally I was struggling to have the drone in the air to, to follow him because that the speed of something like this is incredible, isn't it? Yes, it's very quick. I mean, it's, it's almost immediate talk and uh, it takes a little while to, to, to get used to if you try the, um, operating the, the standard step machine, let's say. but. Yeah, once you get used to it and you realize that it's very nippy, very quick, yeah, you can move some serious dirt in a very short space of time. And where's it made, Jazz? This is built back home in uh, Leicester, England, where alongside the uh, 906, 907, 908 platforms. Fantastic. Now, the little other few quirky things, folks, is in the back, in the boot, as they say, mm. um, there's actually a little suitcase, isn't there? Why have we That's got right. a suitcase in the back? Well, I mean, you've got to charge the thing and you've got to put the cable somewhere. So some smart engineer said, that's a good idea. We'll actually put the little case there for the cable. So it's pretty nifty. We'll have a look at that shortly. Right. So let's go and have a look at the back end, folks, because it's really important because the big question that we get from all of this is the fact of the battery size and capability. So come on, Jack, let's, let's go. Right. So the all is going to be revealed now, folks. And here, first of all, is the suitcase full <laughs> of the actual charger unit. And uh, you can plug it in at home, folks. So people can actually drive this up to their driveway, can't they? Absolutely. If you want to charge it at home, you'll get about 18 hours to, to completely charge the battery. Or if you're three phase, you can basically get this done in three hours as well. So talk about the battery, obviously quite compact, mm. adding that counterweight, allowing for the, the better capability of the bucket and the machine. Mm. But what, what power have we got in here? So it's a 300 volt, 64 kilowatt hour battery. Yep. So uh, basically we will say you can do a full day's work, eight, uh, eight hours with a lunchtime charge. Yep. Um, obviously it depends on application, but most operators really run two, three hours on these machines anyway. So it was, it's plenty of juice under the hood yep. uh, to get the work done. And you've got that data from Vision Link, mm. the system there that's looking at all the diesel ones as, as well as um, the, these machines that are now coming into the marketplace. And it is about utilization, folks, these sort of machines. Yes, they can be heavily utilized or they're just loading and unloading when things come in, aren't they? Exactly. It's a utility machine in that sense. Put, a, uh, put some forks on the front, move some aggregate when they need to do it. It's there at the drop of a hat. So when you say utility as well, what's really important about electrics is they're now being used with different types of attachment as well, aren't mm -hmm. they? Not just the typical buckets for a machine like Correct. this. Auxiliary power, hydraulic power, is it there? Yes, absolutely. I mean, you, you saw we had a demo of this working the uh, power box rake, leveling yep. ground, sweepers, you name it. You can still stick it all on the front. So a real utility machine here in the sunshine. And actually earlier it was charging on power generated by the sunshine because obviously not just the electric power you've got here, but the power systems team through Caterpillar are providing those energy solutions to charge even if you're in a remote location, isn't it? Absolutely, yeah. It's the full ecosystem that we bring to market, not just the product, it's the charging, it's the whole system, site system as well. Uh, and that's basically how we go to market with our machines. Fantastic to see you again. You too, mate.
and it's time to get the thing out of the boot and start charging it. Cheers. <laughs>